Yeah, what, what is happening? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another video on the channel. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about Starfield. We are going to be talking a hell of a lot about this game in our typical, unbiased, uh, very opinionated content here on the channel. We're not really a channel who's very informative. We're not a channel who is going to be coming out with, you know, awesome, epic gameplay. We're just a channel where we like to talk about things which various communities may be talking about. So today, guys... Hence the <laughs> title of this video, you've got certain YouTubers, Twitch streamers, content creators, whatever you want to call them, you know, and they are like, you know, like, I'm going to put this tweet up on the screen right now, this is just one person, there's loads of other people talking about this, I just don't want to go through putting every single tweet on the on the video for you to all watch but anyway we're gonna start from here and then we're gonna go on and you know talk about my thoughts my feelings about this and obviously i'm sure everybody watching this video you're gonna have your own thoughts and feelings so if you do agree with what i'm saying if you agree what you know stod is saying because i'm gonna put his um tweet on the screen please let me know your reasons why and um, leave a comment in the comment section and i will happily um answer well, basically your guys' opinion. We're very opinionated here on the channel, and that's how we roll. So basically, Stoner comes out and says, Starfield is visually stunning. Yes, um, it is, but let's be real, you know, the requirements for this game are pretty, pretty s crazy. Um, obviously, the game isn't perfect. It's no ma nowhere near perfect. I can't wait for the modders to actually get their hands on this, you know, like what they did with Fallout 4 a long time ago. Um... But yeah, I personally have got a Ryzen 9 9 x with a RTX 3080 Ti and on high settings with FSR 2 on. I believe I'm running at 75% on one of the other settings. I can't remember what it was. I am struggling to get 60 FPS in this game. I can in certain, you know, low-key areas, but when I go into one of the towns or whatever, yeah. It struggles. The gameplay you've got in the background is kind of spoiler-free. It's right at the beginning, just something for you all there to watch. But it is visually stunning, don't get me wrong. But to run it on a PC, if you've got a mid-range PC, you're going to really, really struggle. I know it's only been released at 30 FPS on um, both the Xbox Series X and S, which is a bit disappointing for a lot of people. But again, it's not really a Twitch shooter game. Yes, it's not great that it's in 30 FPS, but it's not the end of the world, isn't it? Um, so it goes on to say, but the combat is so basic, it makes it hard for me to enjoy. He then says, visual recoil with just a cone of spread when aiming down sight. Hip fire is actually more accurate. Every humanoid enemy just does the same movement and jostles between assets staring at you. So I actually replied to this tweet. It'll probably block me because that's what you know these um, egotistical um, YouTubers, um, Twitch streamers do. They don't like it when people have got a difference of an opinion to them. They all say that, oh, you're just a hater um, because in today's society, in today's world, you cannot have a varying opinion to somebody on the internet. Obviously, I'm talking there about the um, introduction of the AI moderation chat coming soon in modern sorry coming soon in modern warfare 3 which is another joke which we'll talk about sometime soon but stod has got to understand i know he plays fps games that's what he does um starfield is not and i repeat not an fps game i think starfield actually um describes itself as a single player um science fiction role playing game so it's an rpg you know everybody knew what this game was going to be like if you've ever played you know any other Bethesda games before. We all knew it was going to be pretty much Fallout 4. And that's what we've got. I just find it absolutely hilarious that people are complaining about the game not having as good combat mechanics as, say, Warzone, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, you know, Battlefield, Apex Legends. You know, these comparisons are just ridiculous now what you should be comparing this game to is what battlefield sorry what um fallout 4 did well what other fallout games you know fallout 72 all these other fallout games and games you know similar to this you know you know all these rpg games that's what you should be taking away from this you know i just feel that there's a lot of people out there i don't know if it's the sony pony fanboys as i'm going to call them um just downrating this game on metacritic it makes 
it makes me think that there's agendas out here. Even the Metacritic score at 88 is pretty pretty poor, really, for what this game is. I think it's going to obviously get better, this game, as it goes along. But I just think there's a lot of PlayStation fanboys out there, which is the word I'm going to use, where they're just going on these sites, mass downvoting this game. Because, let's put it this way, IGN, IGN gave this game 7 out of 10. Yet, IGN gave... The latest Call of Duty, a better rating than Starfield. That kind of shows you how corrupt, how much of a nonsense these review sites are. Because in my opinion, I've got no kind of evidence to suggest this, but in my opinion, I think that they get paid through one method or another to actually give good reviews. You see it in all the other walks of life, you know, where people do sponsorships with each other. You see all the deceptive marketing on YouTube from, you know, these part, well, these big streamers or YouTube channels which get partnered with, you know, certain studios like, well, sorry, certain publishers like EA Activision. What was it? EA Game Changers years ago. You know, then there was Fortnite where you had your creator code. You can't trust anybody, guys. You can't even trust me. Obviously, a lot of people do trust me because I'm just a normal gamer. I'm a normal person. I'm... I've got a family, I've got children, you know, I've got a full-time job, I've got a mortgage. Um, so I just come on here just to give my opinions on things, uh, mainly from the video gaming world. But, you know, you, the only way you can judge a game is by yourself or your closest and dearest, your friends, people who you know in real life. Go and ask your friend, you know, is he having performance issues on this game? You know, Digital Foundry actually come out and did a test, um... I can't remember what rigs they were using, but then there's other people using the exact same rig and they're not getting what Digital Foundry got, which, again, Digital Foundry tend to be bang on. I just don't understand. Did they get a different build of the game to what's actually been released? I know it's early access. Are, you know, Bethesda holding back um, some performance upgrades? Because we see a lot of games, they actually get released, they get rushed out, and then there's a patch two weeks later, and the performance, you know, even on the better rigs, improves drastically so again i'm not 100 sure what i'm talking about when it comes to you know technological stuff all i've got in his opinion on video gaming i've come from an fps background i'm kind of moving away from that now because i'm just sick of all the rubbish video games we get year on year out like you know modern warfare 3 later on this year i'm sure it's going to be straight up dog shit because all they care about now you know the really popular fps games is just basically keeping people playing kind of trying to use a free-to-play business model, but yet they expect people to pay £70 pound up front. All they work on, obviously, is maybe upgrading the game from the last one, maybe for two months of the 12-month development cycle, and then the following 10 months, it's all about adding all that extra content in, which they expect you to pay for um, post-release, which should have been in the game pre-release. But again, I just think it's incredibly unfair. All the toxicity, all the hate that Starfield is getting. Um, again, I'm not that far into the game because I've got responsibilities and stuff. I wish I could just sit playing, you know, 10 hours a day. Well, even more than that, 15 hours a day. I wish I could have spent the last three days, 15 hours a day playing this game um, just so I could, you know, get the really, really good gameplay out there, what people want to watch. So, yeah, make your own mind up, guys. But honestly, you know, people to be comparing Starfield... You know, to combat mechanics on FPS video games. Yeah, it's, it's not a great look. It's kind of clutching at straws, to be fair. We all knew what this game was going to be like. We've seen enough gameplay of it. But yeah, you know, if you're an FPS player and you're shit-talking this game, maybe you should go back to Call of Duty Wars. Or maybe you should go back to all these... All these first-person or third-person shooter games, which you've never criticised, even though the majority of your communities have criticised, you've just took that Activision cash, you've took that EA cash, now you're having to actually move genre because Starfield's a big game. You don't want to continue playing Warzone or any of these other games now which are irrelevant because, let's be real, they've had no critical feedback and the player base have just left now because they don't care about it anymore. So yeah, just keep keep in your own lane, leave Starfield alone, and let us all enjoy the wonderful game 
which is Starfield. Again, by no means is it perfect, but it's a lot better than all those trashy FPS games we get year in, year out. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. Again, we're very opinionated on this channel. The content does vary quite greatly, I'm afraid, but again... If I've got something which I feel needs talking about, something what needs defending, even something what needs attacking, I'll be there to make a video on it. All right, love you all. Take it easy. If you've enjoyed this video, if you want to see more Starfield on my channel, more live streams, please leave a like. And yeah, love you all. Take it easy. Goodbye for now.